Here are the chapter tasks for April and May. In April and May, um, the delegations are all meeting a lot and getting prepared to travel. And one of the most important things that the leadership needs to make sure that they have in order are collecting the forms and making sure that the health forms and the legal forms are filled out properly and are transmitted to the national office. Uh, make sure that you remind families that the health forms cannot be signed un with, until it's within 90 days of travel. And um, that's a really important thing because if they're signed outside of that time frame, they may arrive in the country and they may be sent to a doctor there and at additional cost. Who, who has to sign the form? The health form needs to be signed by the doctor, and depending on the age of the delegate, the delegate needs to sign the form as well as the parents. So at this time also the travel information forms get sent. You may not have already booked the travel, but if, you're, if you have already booked the travel, then you have that information. If you haven't booked the travel for the summer program, now's really the time you have to do it because those forms are due to the hosting nation by May 1st. And make sure that you have the current legal uh, forms and the current health forms. They do change fairly frequently, and uh, you need to make sure that you have the most current forms. As of 2019, the legal forms for traveling internationally include the CTLL, Child Traveling with Lead, Leader Legal Form, the CTAL, Child Traveling Alone Legal Form. This would only be for kids that are going on programs without an adult leader. And then there's an adult legal form. This is to be used by everybody over 21, the leaders and staff that are over 21. Then we also have the domestic forms, which include the youth legal form, lovingly called the YLIF. And then there's an adult domestic legal form as well that I've never used. So some other important things to be thinking about in April and May are things like passports, making sure that everybody's passport will be good for at least six months post-program, uh, post-returning from program. If a visa is needed to go into the location, it's really not too soon to be doing that. You never know how long that might take. The quarterly spring chapter report is due on April 15th. And again, this is the same as the winter one, where it's a one-pager found on... Uh, I don't even, uh, it's found on forms in um, CISV Central. Just you know, super simple to fill out. Just make sure you're accurate, update all your chapter information in there, and just click submit, and off it goes. So, again, this was the uh, second quarter. It's the spring chapter report due April 15th. There's going to be one in the summer. There's going to be going to be another one in the fall. In May, you need to plan the date and place and time for the Bon Voyage party, which will happen next month in June. So if your chapter is planning to do a mosaic, there's no one particular time to be planning or executing it. So this is something to think about at every time of year. JB activities need to be go ongoing throughout the year. So make sure that they are happening. It's very common in chapters that are gung-ho and getting it, um, the group together every month, and then somehow it slides off in the springtime. So it's a good thing for the adult leadership to be looking at whether they're continuing to get together.